Hi, and welcome again to digitalcameratutorials.com. We're now going to work with Photo Story again, and this time we're going to customize the motion and the transitions for our project. So we're not starting from scratch this time. We've already got a project going, the holiday in Rome, so we're going to edit a project. So we go next to that. And it automatically opens the last project that we were working on, the Rome project. So I say, click on that. Yes, that's the project I want to open, and it opens it up for me. So here we have the project, and we'll remember from the last tutorial, uh, you should be going through these tutorials uh, in order. Last tutorial worked on adding text, but as we added the text, it removed the motion part of it. So we've got the, we've already imported pictures, so we want to move on to the next section here. We've already added the text, so we don't want to work with that. What we're now going to do is look at customizing the motion here. So we click on the motion, the customize motion, and we're going to specify the start position for the motion. So they're asking us to start with the full picture and finish with the full picture. In other words, there is no motion there as things stand. So what we want to do is to drag these little handles in to find the start point. Now I'm going to focus the starting point on the center of the picture here. And we're going to have our end position out here, that's fine. And we're not going to allow them to set the duration automatically because if we do, the, they're going to go very slowly from, from zooming there to that. So what we want to do is to tell them, no, not 13 seconds, but we're going to stick with the 5 second automatic transition. So we'll save that and then we close. So that's fine. It tells us that that one is now 5 seconds in, in length. So next thing we're going to do is put the motion on this one. So we customize the motion, and again we have to find the start position, specify the start position for the motion for this motion, and we're going to have this start off to the side this time, not in the center, but here. So you can decide where you want the motion to start, specify the position, so it's going to start there and end here. We'll save that and close. Uh, I actually made a mistake on that there, i just go back to that, customize the motion, and uh, the mistake I made was I didn't set the time, so I'm not going to let them do it automatically, again, I'm going to stick to the 5 second, and save, and close. So we're still on 5 seconds here. Now, I've started the motion each time in the center up to now, this time we're going to start on the outside, and we're going to finish the zoom towards the center. Now we're not going to zoom the whole way in, we're just going to have maybe that as a, as a zoom. Okay, so not too much motion there. And number of seconds, 5 seconds, that's fine. Let's save and close. And we'll go to the Trevi Fountain. Now it would be nice to start maybe in here, so we'll customize the motion. And we'll specify our start position as before. And we're going to zoom in on the central statue of the Trevi Fountain and we'll finish out here. We won't let them set the duration, we'll set the duration. We'll put it at 5 seconds. Save and close. Colosseum, customize the motion, and again we have to specify our start position and we'll bring it into, into there possibly. Not too much of a change really, and we'll set that at 5 seconds again. Then we'll save and close and finally then the, the Pompeii picture not a whole lot of it, it, it's a very general picture here so not any particular part that we would like to zoom in on we'll just specify that the end position would be slightly in a little bit from the edge nothing spectacular here at all just something like that and we'll save and close okay no mistake again forgot to change the time on that set the time, oh it was set to 5, save and close. So now it's 5 seconds for each of these. So we've customized the motion on all of these. Now what we want to do is to move on, we're going to go next and next and we need to find a place for this, this project, so we're going to browse and we're going to call it Rome Holiday. Now with Rome Holiday with text, we're going to take out the word text, this is Rome Holiday with motion and we'll save that and then go next and it starts building it 
and again it runs through this two steps first they prepare the video then they build the video so it has to generate the video now and again that just takes a few seconds and then we want to view the story and this is what it looks like so as we've done it starts in the center works its way out start on me work its way out you see the pieta and it's scrolling through them fairly quickly here the idea i want to keep them at the same five second uh, length so that we can maintain the same overall length for the project but of course it doesn't really matter if you wanted it to be much longer you could so that's fine very happy with that we'll close that up and we're going to exit do we want to save the changes that we've made on our project we are going to save them now we're going to save it as the Rome project it'll say you're going to overwrite it and we say yes we do want to replace it so it's going to save our Rome project and that's it finished the last thing I want to do here is just have a quick look at my documents my pictures and I'm going to show you the various sizes that we have so far so in the Rome folder up to now we have the original Rome holiday which was 1.25 megabytes then we added Rome text that was actually a smaller version and you might ask yourself how could it be smaller when we've put text on it but we removed all of the motion so that's what makes it smaller and then we have the Rome holiday which is the one with text and motion and you can see that that's 2.15 megabytes so much bigger than this one okay so that's it digitalcameratutorials.com